Hey, what's up everybody? This is Warp Jester, and today we're doing a how-to on vanilla minecart sorting. Wait, vanilla? to uh, vanilla test world uh, I want to talk to you about uh, minecart sorting uh, this actually came up because I'm watching some videos by a guy by the name of a double DF toxic uh, and he had made mention in some of his earlier videos about uh, minecart sorting and uh, the kind of ins and outs of it and so I wanted to uh, show you real quickly a, a few basic ideas for minecart sorting uh, the three we're going to cover today right here are going to be the empty minecart the chest minecart and the entity minecart that could be villager mob or even a person. Um, there's actually two different elements here that we're going to be doing that uh, deal with this. Uh, first things first, talk about the difference between having somebody in the cart versus having a chest or an empty cart. And that's a very simple one. Many people know about this. Uh, this is a simple uh, trip wire that's two blocks high across the rails. And as you can see here, when I go across it, it triggers a redstone here, which changes the rail. So anybody who rides through here will get bypassed down this first line right here. It's so pretty straightforward. A um, lot of variations on that, I'm sure, but this is uh, probably the easiest solution I've seen. Um, works really well. So that's the uh, entity uh, filter. Now the second one's going to be the difference between a empty minecart versus a chest minecart. And we're actually going to be using inertia to discern the difference here. And the reason for that is empty minecarts have a very, very short inertia. They only go go about eight blocks or eight tracks uh, before they peter out, whereas things like players or chest minecarts can go much, much further. So we're going to use that inertia to our advantage. So in this particular case, we've got a little system set up, and all this takes is a little bit of patience to get a powered uh, source and a hill at just the right distance from each other. In this case, I've got uh, three tracks before a hill, and this is a three high hill. Now this is just enough that an empty mine cart cannot make it all the way up, so it's going to come back down and root around this bypass track over here. So we'll go ahead and show you that real quick. So that's our empty mine cart. So it's going to come on out. Whoops! <laughs> Get it on its way. And as it comes around the corner here, you'll see it comes up, peters out, comes back down, hits the bypass, and there you go. Now again, the difference between that and a chest cart, even in an empty chest cart, is that uh, it has a lot more inertia, so it's going to have a lot more capacity to move. So when it takes off, it's actually going to make it up all the way up the hill without any issues at all. So there you go. Hey. Alright, so that's pretty much it for that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I've noticed when it comes to systems like this, um, doesn't take very much resources at all. They're pretty simple to set up. There's a lot of variations you can have um, between uh, this type of system here versus uh, the hill system. Uh, specifically for uh, Tox, um, look at the way he's got things laid out. Here's kind of a variation or idea of it. So you've got, again, same concept here. You've got three different types of uh, chests uh, versus empty versus uh, entity. So you've got the hill. So the hill will filter out those empty minecarts and they'll bypass down this bottom track. Now for the chest for Zentity to come up here, I've done a little bit of a little bit of a trick here using two lines on a hill. And what this does is when a chest cart comes up, it's only going to trigger the bottom uh, line here. It's not going to touch the top one. And as you can see, it bypasses the line here. Now if you were an entity or a mob, you'd actually trigger both lines. And as you can see, this turns off, this doesn't trigger, so people will actually come right through into uh, your uh, rail yard or uh, uh, subway line or how we want to put it. So, uh, yeah, so there you go, Tox. Uh, if you want a little variation, have some ability to sort out your different minecarts, um, that's the way to do it. Uh, probably one of the simplest ways to do it, honestly. Like I said, there's a lot of variation to it. And it really is a very low cost. There's very little iron or any other resources really involved. And redstone-wise, uh, the only redstone I really have for this type of variation is just a couple pieces right there. So very low cost indeed. Um, 
that's it for this. Uh, there's a couple other uh, ideas I had in terms of uh, minecart uh, filtering for empty chest versus full chest, but I'll go ahead and put that in a separate video. But for now, uh, this is Warp Jester. Uh, feel free to catch up with me on uh, Warp Jester Gaming, my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I do have a Twitter channel, although I'm not real good about checking it. Um, the best way to get a hold of me, if you have any questions, uh, either via YouTube, or if you'd like, you can always uh, hit me up on BottleRocketGaming.com. That's the server I play on. You're certainly welcome to poke your head onto the forums and say hi if you'd like. And uh, I'll be happy to chat with you. Again, thank you very much, and have a good one.